Over 100 militants have been killed over the past 24 hours as clashes erupt in Afghanistan. While here in Qatar, nearly 45% of adults receive at least one COVID-19 vaccine dose. And LinkedIn names the top 10 companies to work for in Qatar. And finally, follow along as Doha News marks this year's World Press Freedom Day. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. More than 100 militants have been pronounced dead after clashes erupted between Afghan government forces and the Taliban. The two sides were locked in fierce combat across several provinces in Afghanistan, including Kandahar, where the U.S. military carried out a final precision airstrike earlier this week. The U.S. officially started withdrawing its troops from Afghanistan to ensure it meets its own September 11th deadline. The Taliban refused to acknowledge this date and say Washington has violated a February agreement that set May 1st as the initial deadline. Now in more positive news here in Qatar, health authorities on Sunday confirmed nearly 45% of all adults in the country have now received at least the first dose of the vaccine. So far, over 1.6 million shots have successfully been administered since the country rolled out its national vaccination program in December. 86% of citizens and residents aged 60 and above have successfully been inoculated, with a further 82 and 80% of people aged 70 and 80 respectively. Qatar has been committed to cracking down on efforts to battle the virus, and the number of positive daily cases are now slowly decreasing. Has your company made it onto LinkedIn's top 10 list? The popular social media app has ranked the best 10 companies to work for if you're in Qatar, and top of the list is Qatar Petroleum. Following the old giant is Hamad Medical Corporation, the QNB Group, the PHCC, and Commercial Bank. Head over to our website to know why these companies made it onto the list and find out whether your employer made it in the next five spots. It's May 3rd, which means World Press Freedom Day is upon us. We are marking the day by providing you with exclusive reports and content all week. To kick off, check out this opinion piece by Canada's ambassador to Qatar, Stephanie McCullum, who says while Qatar's commitment to press freedom is encouraging, additional steps and measures are required. Head over to Qatar's number one independent news outlet, DohaNews.co, for more. Thank you for joining us on the Roundup. For more information, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co.